My name is Cindy Cobos. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a lion. Uh, I am an entrepreneur. Strength, focus, and kick butt. I educate uh, people about money, finances, investments, how to live a debt-free life, um, and teach them how to start from the bottom up with their business, and how to serve and help their family and their community. You know, I remember just even a few years ago, my dad um, had walked into a social security office with my grandpa and they had been talking about, you know, his retirement, et cetera. My dad's six years old now. And they had mentioned that he's going to be receiving around $1,040 a month when he's 62 years old. If he works until he's 65, then um, it's like 1400 68 like 1700 So I really took that into account and I started thinking if that's my dad, and he's worked for 30 plus years of his life. Like what's gonna happen when other people aren't prepared? This is my favorite room. It's called the Disney room. Every time anybody goes to Disneyland, they have one rule. They have to bring me back one teddy bear that I don't already have. So I've been collecting them for years. I started off in the medical field. I figured it's a secure job. It's gonna pay the bills. I'm gonna get some good benefits, but I couldn't see myself doing that for 30, 40 years of my life. So I wanted to be free. I wanted to travel. I want to pick up and go get a cup of coffee if I want to and not worry about who's gonna tell me yes or no. And so I went into this field with the thought of freedom. It was scary in the beginning, like everything is uh, not knowing. I'm a very much introverted person. I don't normally go out and I'm not a social butterfly, but um, I, I love people. So I figured you love people, you can help combine them together and man, make a living out of it. So. I love it. My dad, my sister, my brother-in-law, my nephew, my cousin, my sister, her husband. Where's my brother? My brother right here. So seeing my parents uh, work really, really hard when, when we were all really growing up was so, I don't know, maybe I didn't understand it then when we were little, but it really, really, really made me think, dude, like what else do you do? What else do you do if not work hard and take care of your kids and in your house and put food on the table. This is where I do all my movie watching right here. And what well, I remember how lucky we are and blessed we are to be in America. So our American flag. Sometimes to be an entrepreneur is you're on your own. Yeah, sometimes you're gonna say, oh, there goes, are you a millionaire yet? You know, oh, how's that little thing going? Like, oh, he thinks or she thinks she's gonna be a millionaire, boss, per whatever people say about you. Who cares, they don't pay your bills and they're never gonna pay your bills. So, but you, before you get to that point where you can care less, you gotta mature into that and let them keep speaking about you because it's only gonna give you more freaking fire, dude, because that's what it's about. And prove them wrong, don't prove them right. And don't boast when you win, just thank God. <laughs> and keep working, keep getting better. Come on in, if you guys like too much bedroom. Um, I have another 65. I don't want, you guys, I don't watch TV, okay? But this is YouTube uh, biographies, all the good stuff that you can watch. I'm not working. I love movies. Popcorn, jalapenos. Favorite comedy. I don't like horror. I don't do horror. I like comedy, action. I don't do drama either. Or cartoons. Don't tell anybody, but I love cartoons. Moana's like in my top five. Okay, it's like one of the best movies out there. <laughs> This is on a mission trip, I went to Haiti. And uh, these are some of my friends from over there. Some of the locals and um, get a chance to visit and we're still friends until today. Just thinking back when I made a transition from going eight to four, nine to five, I, I was, the biggest thing was self mastery. You know, I, I don't think anything could prepare you really um, for you having all, you go from having things to do from nine to five, having to be somewhere to, you make your own time, you make your own schedule. I think that that's really where majority of entrepreneurs kind of fail um, because when you think, oh, I'm a business for myself now, I have all the time in the world and, and from eight to 10, I'm gonna go shopping and then I'm gonna go blah, 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 whatever. And then you miss the fact that within the hours of the day, you're supposed to be focusing on your business. And sometimes when you're part-time, because you have a lot less time, you focus more on it when you have time versus when you go full-time as an entrepreneur. So t 
time management and self-management is the biggest thing. And to me, you need, you don't need it, but it can really shave off a lot of years and a lot of frustrating times is when you have a mentor or somebody that maybe you can reach out to or somebody that can walk you through or somebody who's been there, done that, that they can maybe tell you or, or show you what they've done. So you can like, comment, uh, or subscribe, whichever one, share with an entrepreneur, share with somebody who's maybe, um, you know what this can relate to, somebody who's looking to start something. I'm, I'm looking forward to many, many, many more of these as we get a chance to know each other uh, and uh, befriend me. Say hello and uh, yeah, looking forward to it, guys. <music>